Hey, my Whittle fans, welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons. Today, this will be session two. And to start us off, why don't we have our players introduce themselves? What's good, everyone? It's the greatest spellcaster the West Side has ever seen. I'm the Jay Izzel, the J to the MCBB. Yeah, that's right. I'm Joe Biden. I play Joseph, the level three dementia wizard. What's happening, niggas? I'm the Chocolate Thunder from Down Under, the fairest maiden of them all, Terrellin the Elven Ranger, level three. Hello, everyone. I'm the genius prodigal master of the holy arts. I am Dragnir the Firebearer. I'm a level three dragonborn paladin and possibly, hypothetically, the smartest of our party's dynamic. And of course, they save the best for last again. I mean, I really do carry this show, don't I? Just like how I carried that 2016 election against Hillary. I mean, seriously, that was a bigger dumpster fire than her email scandal. Speaking of scandals, Obama, I heard you got arrested for burglary. Or was that another black guy? I don't know. You all look the same to me, honestly. Anyway, I'm Trumpster, the wild magic barbarian. Because just like my massive wealth and gorgeous features, my champion is fucking wild. That's it, Donald. I'm tired of this shit. I'm shooting an arrow at your orange ass. You're just jealous I'm better than you, really. I mean, why should we ever take your threats seriously anyway? When you decide to play a fucking girl and you called yourself the fairest maiden, I fucking swear you're gayer than Drake. I bet you let Michelle tell you when to shit yourself, don't you? All right, calm down, my bestie Westies, or else you'll go in the naughty timeout corner. Now, last time we left off, the party had ventured to the grounds of the Asher Cemetery. After being ambushed by a flock of ghouls, you witnessed the transformation of a tall individual into a hulking abomination. You entered fierce combat with it and came out victorious. Now, as the sun is well over the edge of the horizon, you wander back to the town of Veroctus. With the sun now illuminating the mountain valleys and decreasing the dark shadow the town held, it seemed more normal now. Smoke wafted out from chimneys, and townspeople begun to cheer with balloons and lanterns ascending the sky. Guys, we're gonna get so much pussy once we show them the head. You don't flop a fucking severed head in front of women. This is why you haven't gotten laid in centuries, you decrepit old retarded gremlin. We will take the head to Creepy Joe number two at the bar. Once we have our reward, we can see what all the commotion is about. I agree with Donald. We won't look good with a random severed head in our possession. Besides, if the townsfolk don't know why we have it, they'll logically believe that we had committed homicide. I'll agree to that. Also, Donald, you better start watching your mouth. If you get your ass beat by my ranger, I'll post on Twitter how some big fucking orange got his ass beat by a girl in his imagination. Whoever cares about what you think on Twitter, your old news, Barack's news, Balma, clearly I'll just say it's a lie and everyone will believe me. Because obviously the big T Trump doesn't ever tell a lie. Guys, stop fighting, you're scaring me. So the party travels back into town with a head in secret tow. You arrive in front of the tavern called the Rusty Nail. As you make your approach to the door, guards are yanking away a robed man, seemingly identical to the one spotted just last night. As the guards yank him away, he stares toward you all in disbelief. Keep it moving, you fucking scoundrel. No damn cult will set up in my town. Oh, fuck, guys, quick. Put your heads down and don't look. Well, actually, Obama, you should probably just hide, since your skin color makes them think you're already up to no good. I'd like to jump into the nearest dumpster and hide. Sometimes, Joe, I wonder how you manage to wake up in the morning as much of a loser as you are let alone not do something fucking stupid every five minutes, because if it isn't a child or some pregnant woman, you won't even pay attention. What, 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 what was that, Donald? I saw a pregnant Asian by the blacksmith. You know, I got that yellow fever. Gentlemen, I believe our most logical course of action to take is to dispose of this head. Clearly, we were set up. That ambush was for us so they could turn us into ghouls and possibly raise their numbers. Yeah, Ben's right. Let's ditch this necrophilia-type-ass shit we got and see if we can join in on the celebration. So as the party of cutie pies makes their way into the growing masses of people, what do you do? I'll ask around what they're celebrating. Is it me, my gorgeous features, perhaps even my charitable generosity? I mean, clearly the party is for me anyway. The only thing they'd be celebrating is your election loss. I mean, your barbarian looks like a walking spray can. At least I can shop at the local stores in town without being followed by the owner or having cops called on me because I look suspicious. Guys, just make sure you don't leave me behind. I don't like it when I'm alone. I get lost and scared. Besides, what if someone tries kidnapping me? I know you guys need me. The only thing I need is for you to get the hell away from me. 
No one wants to kidnap you anyway. You smell like a leather couch cushion that's been left in a dumpster fire. Not even Axe body spray could get that smell off. You need bleach and a fucking grill brush to clean yourself. I say we should all simply stick together. That way, we don't lose each other in the large crowds. And hypothetically, say if something was to occur, we would all be grouped together to escape immediately. I'm glad someone's thinking with their actual head, unlike some people who either just think of children or the other who only wants malt liquor and weed. One of these sessions, Donald, you'll go into a trap and I'll set it off to make sure we never have to deal with you again. Yeah, good luck with that. No one can stop the Trumpster. I'm the greatest for a reason. Traps feel like pillows hitting these muscles. A woman appears to turn herself toward the party and quickly stroll herself over towards you. She claps her hands together in excitement as she eyes over the group's armors and clothing choices. Excuse me, gentlemen. Might you be perhaps hands for hire or bounty hunters looking for easy work? I bet she smells nice. Don't worry about the sleepy creep. Also, I know it'll be hard to resist. But I promise our ranger won't steal your purse, so you're fine. Yeah, we can take up a job if you need some work done. Absolutely excellent. You see, my name is Enriana Octier. I'm a traveling medicinal doctor that's come this way for some rare herbs. I've recently set up an apothecary tent for business. However, it appears some ghastly beasts have infested the sewers. Every night they come out and not only destroy my shop, but also consume what herbs I had growing. Can you please vanquish these beasts? I will pay you. Drake, I think you're a little too good at female voices. Are you sure you're not at least a bit fruity? It's okay if you are. Well, I mean, not really, but at least I'll know for the future. I mean, if anything, you and Barack can be better friends since he's already married to a man. Fuck you, Donald. Yeah, let's get on this quest. I'll break your knees and leave your ass to get eaten so we can get more cash. This woman appears to be of a more reliable citizen than the last. Perhaps there is a calling for us here. Hypothetically, it could be fate that we might be here to perhaps fix the town's many grim problems. That's absolutely wonderful if you would all accept. I'd recommend entering the sewers now. You will catch the main swarm of them, and perhaps drive them off from whence they came. Another quest and another chance to kick some fucking ass. Let's get it, G-Dogs. Yeah, I mean, I just hope it's less spooky than the graveyard. I can't handle scary stuff, guys, not even Jill. Let's me watch horror movies by myself, because I need my rubber ducky with me. I, too, believe this will be a rather amusing quest. Venturing down into the deep tunnels of the underground sewer system? Perhaps even fighting off gators and rats of the runoff? It's a classic quest style. Nothing stops the G-Dogs. Plus, the party will be fine with the B-Rock behind you all. Let's get it, team. And so the party accepts the woman's request, causing her to shout in glee. Also, Donnie Bear, I'm so good at these voices because I practice for you all. Don't be such a little sourpuss. Anyway, you walk over toward one of the few entryways into the sewer system. It's a basement door. Heavy iron slabs with metal handles stay unlocked. Despite the noise outside, you can hear the rush of water through the system, and eventually a low growl passes by as well. Once opening the door, you see a slick pathway on either side of the water, which runs about eight feet in width. The entire tunnel itself is about 20 feet, quite well spacious. It's dark, and moist droplets trickle down to the floor. The rush of water begins to cloud all other noises as the doors to the basement fall shut once you enter inside. The ground is somewhat slippery, and the walls are covered with splattered dirt and grime. This place is fucking filthy. I mean, the floor is almost as dark as Obama. Shut the fuck up, Biden. Cast light or some shit. I'll prepare a torch. All right, no problem, B. Rizzle. I'll cast the level one cantrip light on my quarterstaff. All right, Joe, you take the rear. I'll take lead so we can keep our light on both sides. Then I'll make a perception check. All right, so as Joe slowly follows the back of the group with his staff emitting a bright white light, Obama takes the lead. Roll perception check. That's a 17, so plus three, that's 20. Already off to a good start, let's go. Looking ahead, some light is shimmering off of the water from the open bars above. You can see the walls turn quick corners down a multitude of passageways. However, on the puddled floor in front of you, there is large sets of animalistic footprints in the small mounds of filth upon the floor. They follow forward and soon divert toward a passageway 20 feet ahead. Hey guys, slow down. Looks like there's some animal tracks here leading up. Let's take it slow. And Donald, if you can shut that glory hole of yours up for a bit, we might not get caught. All right, these may possibly be the creatures we must seek. I believe 
It is in our best interest to investigate forward. All right, I'll roll a survival check to follow the tracks. I got a 16 plus one for my modifier. And I got proficiency, so plus two. That's 19. So, you follow the tracks closely, keeping a keen eye out for your surroundings. As you turn the corner, you begin to hear a fierce gnawing from down the passage. As your light comes around, you illuminate a gruesome sight. Large rats, larger than bears, are tearing apart a small child. Their head slips from their neck and rolls upon the ground toward the group. Holy fucking shit, guys. I shit pissed and farted. We're way over our heads, man. Pull yourself together, you fucking idiot. Don't go filling up that adult diaper because no one here is going to change you. Now let's fucking intimidate these cocksuckers. Roll intimidation check. Let's get this shit going, you fucking crybabies. And I'll roll a two. That's fucking bullshit. I'm telling you guys, my dice are defective. Biden, give me one of yours. Fuck no, Donald. Get your own. Hey, Just whoa, give me one, you, you fucking, fucking loser. Orange. So with Donald failing his intimidation check, the two rats begin to make their way toward you. However, just as they lean upon their hind legs, a high-pitched whistle echoes along the walls of the sewer passageways, seeming to call the rats away from whence they came. Quickly, after them. They can lead us to our objective. Oh, shit. Ben, don't run up. Uh, fuck guys after him. So you guys chase after Ben, who is ultimately chasing after the rats. You run for several long minutes before coming to a sudden drop in the floor, which descends down a massive tunnel with flooding water pouring into its endless depth. I need Benny B to make a dexterity saving throw as the rats pierce the floor with their claws and seem to walk over the edge and down the wall lining. I would roll a five plus one that's six. Ben, you don't seem to stop yourself in time. As just as you approach the edge, you can hear the roar of running water, followed by a lining of spotlights down below. However, their light doesn't reach your height. You slip, barely managing to catch the edge of the ledge with quick thinking. Oh God, gentlemen, help. I. I don't know how long I can possibly hold on for. I saw the rats go down. It's endless down there. All right, I'll be flexing my muscles for the entire world to see before slowly flexing myself down to grab Ben. Roll a strength check. No problem. Now that I'm using one of Joe's dice, there's no shot I roll low this time. An 18, baby, let's go. Plus three, that's 21. You slowly begin to pull Ben back up over the ledge. However, you all hear a crackle along the floor as the walls of the passageway start pouring over and the ground crumbles to rupture the area around you, causing you all to begin a deep descent into the darkness below. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, shit, goddammit. Ben, you dumbass. I'm not even worried about the fall. In fact, I'm going to strike a majestic pose so that once I land, I'm like a beautiful dove, an angel coming down upon these underground poor people. So as you all descend down, you pass by a multitude of bright lights that temporarily blind your eyes. You feel as though you're in complete freefall for nearly 15 seconds before your bodies collide with a large body of water, and you're all rushed down an enlarged passageway toward the end of the tunnel, where bright lights and rugged garbage is made into houses. You seem to arrive at a strange town, just before you're thrown over the edge and into the filthy sewer lake that surrounds the space. Oh, God. Quick, everyone. We need to get to the dock here. Guys, help. I can't swim. I'll help Joe to the dock. The town is made of rundown shacks and dirty materials clearly salvaged from the sewer runoff. The town is quite crowded, but everyone stares toward the party with pure fear in their eyes. Ah, fuck. All right, guys, I better talk these people down before we have a BLM riot. Besides, I don't want to stay here long. I have a bit of a rule about staying in Haitian-style refugee camps. I doubt you've ever seen any Haitians. You don't like being around anyone darker than caramel, you racist fat ass. Shut the fuck up and let me handle this. Ahem, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, the most generous and gorgeous man alive. I mean, I'm truly the greatest. I know you all already want to bow down to me, but I need to know where the hell we are. How do we get out of here? Pit, please, sir. You have fallen here just like the rest of us. Welcome to Digny. It's a... Small town, of course, but if you truly wish to leave, you'll need to see the Rat King. The one who speaks is an elder man with heavy, wrinkled skin. His white hair flows behind his back like a large curtain, and body was frail under his orange garbage robes. The Rat King? Is that like the king of you poor people? I mean, how can someone with that name be so bad? He probably uses a KFC bucket for a crown. He is a madman, 
He rules the sewers with an iron fist, using giant rodents as his pawns. He's mutated them lately, however, and has begun to experiment on himself. If you could defeat him, then we may all be able to leave. There is an exit past his throne that leads to the northwestern forest. I suppose we could quickly attempt to dispose of this threat. Theoretically, if we were to defeat him, we can take that exit out and return to the apothecary for healing. Then, our wagon is also in town. We could quickly leave as well, because if I may be frank, this all sucks straight shit. Yeah, let's get this shit done. I'm starting to hate this place too. I want to go kill some goblins or some shit because I'm already tired of all this. All right, yeah, I want to go back to the capital and see our house again. I remember I left Mr. Bigglesworth without any cat food. All right, let's kick some more fucking ass. We're going to RKO this fucking peasant and get back to the capital. They have better women, beer, and taverns there anyway. I need to get my fucking party on. Keg stand, I'm coming back, baby. And so, as the party ventures along the narrow docks toward a colossal passageway entrance, you bask yourselves in the darkness, slowly approaching a dim red glow up ahead where the screeches of rodents echo all around you. The townspeople watch you leave with anxious eyes, some even cheering you for having such courage. Hey guys, your number one warrior here. I know you're already blushing just from the fact I'm talking to you, but don't piss yourselves just yet. I'm here to tell you that while this will be a regular series on the channel, the production value will continue to increase as the episodes come out. This means that episodes will take longer and longer to produce. But if you want to show your support, hit the like and subscribe button. See you later.